Bob is unfazed by the Brooklyn Nets. Run it back, Philly. No frauds. No frauds. No fanboys. No fanboys. No intros. No intros. Brooklyn Nets head coach Jacques Vaughn is a lot more like Doc Rivers than I thought. Jacques Vaughn today, yesterday, sometime, whenever, was asked about the possibility of playing Cam Thomas in Game 3. Now, the Nets have not been good. And it's because they're not good. They're not a playoff team. I've been saying they're not a playoff. The only reason they're in the playoffs is because Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving were on the team the first half of the season. This is not a playoff roster. They never stood a chance in the first place. I wasn't trying to be overly cocky uh, when I said that. you know. And, and Nets fans that thought they did stand a chance were flat out lying to themselves. They're down 0-2. Neither game was really competitive. And somebody asked Jacques Vaughn about playing Cam Thomas. Now, if it, for those that don't remember, Cam Thomas is the bucket that dropped 46 on us in the last game of the season. Yeah, it, we weren't playing any of our starters. But we were playing Jaden Springer, good perimeter defender. You know, uh, and at any rate, he dropped 46 points in an NBA game. So they asked Jacques Vaughn about playing Cam Thomas. And I've been wondering, is he going to switch up the strategy? Because it's not, what you're doing is not working. I'm just saying, I predicted the Nets steal the game. Jacques Vaughn has proven me wrong. Here's what he said when they asked him if he's going to play Cam Thomas. Yeah, it's just all, always at the disposal of uh, someone not getting minutes. And so uh, who is that? Is that Spencer? Is that Cam Johnson? Is that... Mikael Bridges, um, I think everyone is available to play and, and uh, in the wheelhouse to hopefully be prepared if the, if the numbers call. <laughs> please, please keep, please, please just keep doing what you're doing, Jock Vaughn. Keep doing what you're doing. You know what? I totally agree. I totally agree. Don't change it up at all. I totally agree. Don't change it up. Jock Vaughn refusing to adjust his strategy is, number one, going to land me that Joel Embiid triple-double. And yes, I'm betting on it again tonight. Because his whole strategy is double and triple Embiid, and Embiid has just been passing the ball around from the top of the key, and he's leaving Tyrese Maxey wide open in the corner. He's leaving James Harden, Anthony Melton, everybody wide open. It's not working. The funniest part about that video is that he says, who's going to, you know, if I play him, it's at the disposal of someone else. Someone else has to lose minutes if I play him. <laughs> You're down 0-2. Nobody's doing anything. You would think you would try something else. Somebody hit me up. Somebody replied to me on Twitter and said, Who's Cam Thomas going to guard? I said, Who's Seth Curry guarding? Who's Spencer Dinwiddie guarding? I'm just, I'm just a little bit baffled that down 0-2, you haven't been competitive in either game. Neither one was close. He's refusing to adjust. And he's handing the 76ers a sweep. But all I can say is thank you. Continue to do what you're doing. Hand us the sweep. We'll see you soon, Boston Celtics. I'm out.